The two biggest tools that you can have to improve your Kindle are visualization and self-awareness. This video is a segment of the stream that I did with Andy Fisher where he shared how these tools help him fast track his beginning in Kendo. Big thanks to him for doing this for us and to extending a 10% discount for everyone watching. This is my first video for 2023 and I wanted to start the year by reminding us that improving in Kendo is not about just going to the dojo. Let me know down in the comments what are your goals for 2023 because this year I hope to keep bringing you content and resources to help you grow your Kendo and reach your goals. If you would like to keep getting Kendo tips your way, make sure you're subscribed and if you would like to help the channel, just hit the like button down below. Enjoy. I talked to Kendall very quickly and, and like I said, I was obsessed with it. So even though I was at the door door only once a week, I was practicing every day at home. And mm. um, we didn't, I did like YouTube wasn't a thing. So uh, I was watching like uh, VHS tapes <laughs> yes. of the, uh, the Z ZNKR um, instructional video. I just watched that on repeat. I didn't have the resources that the guys on the British team in those days had and certainly not like what the Japanese team had who were, who were I really looked up to. So I just tried to make the best of it. I used to take this video camera, right? It was a Sony camcorder. It was about that big, like a house brick. I'd say I had a cassette in it. It wasn't a digital one, of course. Uh, and I used to set it up in the dojo and film my Keiko every, every Wednesday, which is when we used to practice eight o'clock till 10 o'clock. I used to film it and I come home that night and I'd wire it up to the TV and I'd watch it back and I'd compare it to the DVD that I'd bought from the Zenken then uh, and just be like oh, where's that different where's it different and I'd watch the all Japan Kendo championships over and over and over and over and try and like burn the image of the Japanese players in my head like and then I'd take that to Keiko and yes. just try to copy it film it see how close I was, see what I needed to change. And I did that for the first uh, probably couple of years of doing Kendo. And I did pretty well in the, like in the first 12 months, I moved through Kendo really rapidly. Uh, I got my Shodan in 11 months of starting. Uh, I won uh, I won the, Q -grade, uh, the UK Q grade championships the day before my Shodan exam. If you enjoyed this video, you may also like this video I made about doing Kote for Stronger Kendo. Please take a second to let me know down what are your goals for your Kendo for 2023. If you would like to keep getting Kendo tips your way or know when I go live so you can join me one of my streams, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you got some values from this video, please hit the like button and share this with someone you want the Kendo to improve. Thank you very much for watching.